So everyone, how are you doing today? Here are our three shades for the week using the Peacock Pigment from NYX, the Ivory Lace from TKB Trading, and the Blow Rider Pigment from BH Cosmetics. about how to increase the softness of the shadow and I want to kind of experiment with CS Max so we'll be adding CS Max to our recipes in addition to everything else we did last week. Let's get started as usual I have sprayed and cleaned everything with alcohol and I have my usual notebook so let's go to our last recipe in the most anticipated peacock shade. By the way the day I'm recording is also my youngest one's second birthday. He turns two today. I cannot believe how fast time has passed since his birth. As you can see, you get only a little bit over half a teaspoon of pigment in these containers. So I just poured the excess back into the bottle. There's not much left in it. And to that, we are going to add our usual recipe. I'm not going to waste time in this video going over the basic recipe because I feel like we really don't need to. And I want to add... Let me start with 116 of the CS Max. Now CS Max has that Carnuba wax which is supposed to give you additional adhesion and at the same time it's supposed to make your shadows feel more creamy but the thing with Cerisite Mica is that it also makes your shadows opaque and kind of whiter. So let's mix this up. Okay so this one mixed in pretty easily. Let's move on with the liquid ingredients. At this point I feel like I need a little bit more binder in this, like when I press it down it still feels a little bit too loose. So I'm gonna add one drop of the coconut oil and mix everything in again. Let's pass this through the sieve and press. Somehow this looks darker than a pan that I have pressed before with this pigment. I mean, the shine on this is just ridiculously beautiful. So that made three hands. Now let's move on to the next shadow of today. Ivory Lace is a very, very pretty pale orangey or champagne-y color. CS Max is gonna make the pigment more opaque than it is and in case of highlighters we actually want them to stay sheer so that they only give us the shine and no powderiness but we'll find out we'll find out now since this time we started with just the pigment the effect we are going to see is off CS Max this is what it is looking like now granular it's kind of on the dry side of the wet sand consistency so i'm debating if i should add a drop of coconut oil to it but it seems to be getting pressed down decently so let's just press a pan and then we'll know this can be a very nice base shade as well all right, so even with this, we ended up pressing three pans, which is amazing. It's a light, light brown. And in the pan, it, it is a perfect satin finish, you can say. But when you spread it out, it creates a very nice kind of high shine effect. So I'll have to try it on on my lids and see how it works out. But I'm, I'm pretty happy. This is the first time I have created a shadow with CS Max in it. The final pigment of this video is the BH Cosmetics pigment in Lowrider. It's a beautiful PG shade with a green shift to it. And of course, you guys must have guessed that I was super excited about it. So I decided to skip the CS Max for this one but I made a mistake and I actually ended up adding my normal quantity of magnesium mighty state twice and then actually skipped adding magnesium stearate altogether but you know let's see how it turns out and uh, 
things, I might be able to fix it. I just need to add everything else in double the quantities and recrush these shadows and you're all good, right? Okay. So that's our original pigment and it's super pretty. This was before I added the base and I felt like it has become a, quite a bit adhesive and chalky. So now I'm gonna swatch it with the base. So it's I'm worried. I'm worried. I'm going to reduce the binder in, in this one. It's interesting that it's actually sticking more even to the sieve. So let's say. Wait, it's not. It's not bad. I have to say. What do you guys think? And then, if I spray it, if you spray it though, I feel like I'm losing out on the green shift. Like here, I feel like I have more of the green shift when I apply it dry. Interesting. Let's continue pressing the rest of the shadows. So here you go, guys. Here are our three shades for the week. And we experimented with adding 1 16th of CS Max and I think the results are actually <laughs> surprisingly good. The Peacock Pigment Ivory Lace and this has come out to be a very very pretty satin finish and then of course the BH Cosmetics Pigments and this was an accident and I was very worried. It's very nice as well. I did not expect this to have the green flip but because of that now we kind of have this theme with the Peacock shade and then a green flipped Like you need to kind of go in parts and pack it on but you get a more intense effect with the brush so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up like subscribe and share and that way you can help me do more of these experiments and press shadows and if you are planning to press your own do let me know how it's going i would like to know i'm not going into details of the recipes in these videos where we actually press the shadows but i will make a separate video regarding the recipes so that way you know you don't need to go hunt for them if you need to make your own shadows all right so thanks again for watching bye